This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. What's up, everyone? John Ranger from Techno Buffalo here with another episode of Rettinger's Riffs. So this one might qualify more as a rant. So a few weeks ago, we saw Apple unveil its latest OS X, uh, dubbed El Capitan, and there are some features that were very heavily influenced or taken completely from Windows. And we see things like that happen all the time. We see Google borrow from Apple, Apple borrow from Google, Microsoft borrow from both. And I read the comments, and I see the debate that goes on, and I see a ton of people saying, Apple did this first, Google copied, iOS copied this, Android copied that. I want to talk to you, the folks that write those kind of things. Let me put you in a situation here. Let's say, hypothetically, you run a business and you have a competitor who moved in right down the street that does pretty similar to what you do, but does it just a little bit better and does something different that makes it better. Chances are you're going to adapt your business model to do what they're doing and perhaps even do it one better than what they've done. And that's all that's going on here. If there's an opportunity to make your product better and say somebody else thought of it first, that doesn't mean that you can't use it. It is an absolutely asinine argument to yell at each other that Apple did this first, iOS, Android. It blah boggles my mind. It makes you, quite frankly, sound a little bit like a little bit like like a tiny hat. A little bit like a hat. Things change. Companies borrow from one another. Patents are violated. It's just the way things go in the world. Be happy that your OS you're choosing is taking the best features from another one. It's such an asinine argument to say, oh, this was borrowed. So if Apple came up with an idea that means Microsoft could never have anything similar. Google could never have anything similar. It just doesn't make sense from a business standpoint. Take yourself out of your fanboyness. Take that fanboy hat off for a minute and think about from a business standpoint. Why wouldn't a company want to take influence from those features? If anything, it's more of a compliment to the company or the OS that they're borrowing from. It just doesn't make sense. And the fact that you like an OS more than somebody else is, doesn't, shouldn't matter and shouldn't impact another person's buying decision. Let people like what they like. It doesn't impact you at all. I see this happen all the time in the comments. It just enrages me because people don't think from a business standpoint. Think like you're running a business and, and sort of see how you would run things. Along the same lines of like, oh, Apple's just trying to make money. I want to say like, no they're trying to make money. They're a for-profit company. No Google wants to make money. They're a for-profit company. That's what for-profit companies do. They charge as much as they can where people will still buy it. It's supply and demand curve. They find where those things intersect and that's the price they charge. If you don't want them to charge that much money, stop buying their stuff. That will lower that down. Demand goes down, the price is going to go down. Apple, Microsoft, any other business out there, they're a for-profit business. They need to make money to pay their staff, to create giant golden parachutes for their executives. Uh, they got a board of directors to report to. So before you start just, just typing, and I'm sure you're going to do in the comments anyway, but before you start typing just angry fanboy things, think about how companies are run from a business standpoint and not from your own personal perspective. And that might help you appreciate, at least understand why companies make decisions that they do. Let me stop real fast and thank our peeps at Domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you, like in the middle of the night. It's one-stop shopping for all your domain name and web hosting email needs. Domain.com wants to hook you up with a pretty sick offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting when you use coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. It's all one word in caps at Domain.com's checkout. When you think domains, think Domain.com. I'm going to exhale for a minute. A little red in the face. I feel better now. Anyway, if you take anything from this rant uh, that I just went on, uh, take two things. First, anything a company does to make your experience better, it's good for you. Consumer always wins. Whenever there's competition, the consumer is always going to win. Whenever two companies are in a similar space, they bring each other up. And that's always wonderful for the end user, which is you, it's me, it's everybody else who's watching uh, this video. And again, before you yell about Apple or Google or Microsoft uh, charging you a lot of money for a phone, you have a voice. You don't have to buy their product. And if that's sort of the way you want to go, then you can speak with your wallet. Um, that's a decent way to try and get the company to make policy change. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back to my happy non rent yourself in the next video. Until then, though, John Render from Techno Buffalo. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Uh, if you guys are checking out the B shirt and you want to pick one up for yourself, hit the link down below. It's a limited edition run. By the time you watch this video, the shirts might already be gone. Um, they're only available for just a few days. So if you want one of these, these B guys with the logo in the back, um, hit the link down below again.